सो दिस इज फॉर क्लास नाइन मैथ्स को अबाउट ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इंट्रोडक्शन ओके सो द प्रीवियस इंट्रोडक्शन यू ऑल डीन अंडरस्टैंड सो आई मेड वन मोर ओके सो नाउ लेट मी स्टार्ट फर्स्ट यू ऑल कैन राइट डाउन ओके दिस इज अ पाइथागोरस थियोरम पार्ट ओके सो इन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी नाउ कैन यू ऑल सी द ट्राइंगल ए बी सी सो यर एंगल बी इज अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल यर एंगल बी इज अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल ओके एंड साइड ए सी दिस ए सी इज योर इज ऑपोजिट ऑफ एंगल बी ओके ए सी इज ऑपोजिट ऑफ एंगल बी ओके नाउ बी सी इज ऑपोजिट ऑफ एंगल ए एंड ए बी इज ऑपोजिट ऑफ एंगल सी ओके एंड ए सी इज अ हाईपोटिन्यूज दिस इज सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स विच आल हैव टू रिमेंबर नाउ कम्स using pythagoras theorem we can write the following statement for this triangle ab square plus bc the whole square is equal to ac the whole square now ac square will be your hypotenuse your ab is your opposite side and bc is the adjacent side okay now hypotenuse is never going to change okay it is not going to change it will remain as it is the slanting line is your hypotenuse always okay and it doesn't change where has adjacent and opposite can change so for example uh, here can you all see terms related to right angle triangle so in right angle triangle abc your angle b over here is 90 degree okay angle a and angle c are acute angle okay angle a and angle c is your acute angles okay now now this is adjacent side of angle a ab okay adjacent side of angle a is what ab so an opposite side of angle a will be bc okay here opposite of angle a is bc or cb you can say okay next uh, this will be hypotenuse okay it will remain as it is now opposite and adjacent down right now here you all can see this slanting line is always a hypotenuse where has adjacent side of angle c will be cb or you can see bc okay adjacent of uh, of angle c opposite of angle c will be will be ab opposite of this angle c will be ab okay now here it is changing changing right here it is adjacent side because it is asked adjacent side of angle c so adjacent side of angle c will be cb and adjacent side of angle a will be ab okay this remember this points this are very important concept okay next uh let us solve the exercise over here now in figure so in the figure uh, triangle pqr pqr is a right angle triangle you all have to write side opposite to angle p now opposite of angle p is what opposite of angle p will be qr okay opposite of angle p will be qr okay so then you all have to write it down qr okay next will be side opposite to a angle r side opposite to angle r will be what pq so plug pq next let us see side adjacent to angle p side adjacent of angle p will be pq pq okay next let us see side adjacent to angle r will be qr okay so i hope you all have understood this clearly okay you all need to study this basically 
now you can see here the trigonometric ratios which is very important okay these are only the formulas which all need to know now this is slanting line is always the hypotenuse okay you can see the triangle pqb right and this is opposite of angle b opposite of angle b is pq opposite of angle p is bq opposite of angle q will be pb okay so now these are the sine ratio of acute angles so in triangle pqb pq upon pb so pq is what pq upon pb so it will be opposite upon hypotenuse opposite of triangle b it is right opposite of triangle b up okay so upon hypotenuse so these are the formulas which you all need to know these are only the formulas now this ratio is called a sine ratio of angle b and it is written brief has sin b okay now cosine ratio of an acute angle now in triangle pqb bq upon pb so for cos it will be adjacent upon hypotenuse remember the formulas okay important ones now tangent ratio of acute of an acute angle is nothing but in triangle pqb pq upon bq opposite upon adjacent for tan it is adjacent upon sorry opposite upon adjacent okay for tan for tan ratio it is okay now the ratio is called a tangent ratio of angle b and written in brief as tan b okay study these are the only formulas which all need to study okay next moving further this is the exercise okay which all need to do okay you all can take down this mostly we uh, write measures of acute angle of a right angle triangle by using greek letters like theta alpha beta etc in the adjacent figure of triangle abc measure of acute angle c measure of acute angle c is denoted by letter theta so we can write the ratio sin c cos c tan c has sin theta cos theta tan theta respectively because here c is equal to theta okay here c is equal to theta okay so we are replacing this c by theta you can say now sin c is equal to sin theta we are writing c has theta now so it is ab upon ac because it is opposite upon hypotenuse ab is your opposite side ac is your hypotenuse okay Op opposite of c is what ab okay now here cos c is given as we are writing it as cos theta now theta is what opposite of theta will be what ab right but we need adjacent because formula is adjacent upon hypotenuse so op adjacent of theta is bc upon hypotenuse ac okay tan c is what is equal to tan theta now opposite of theta is what opposite of theta is ab and adjacent is bc ab upon bc because opposite up upon adjacent okay formula now these are the sin ratios this is which all have to remember this sin ratio opposite upon hypotenuse sin formula is opposite upon hypotenuse cos is adjacent side upon hypotenuse tan ratio will be opposite side upon adjacent side same similarly this one sin theta so opposite of side uh, opposite side of angle theta okay upon hypotenuse cos theta formula is what adjacent side of angle theta upon hypotenuse tan theta is equal to opposite side of angle theta upon opposite side of opposite side of angle theta upon adjacent side of angle theta it is okay this is adjacent side of angle theta not opposite side but ad adjacent side okay this is a adjacent side of angle theta so uh, these are the things which all need to study okay so here opposite side of angle a is of angle a will be what bc right so opposite of angle a is nothing but bc now opposite of angle 
B will be what? Opposite of angle B. Let us see opposite of angle B. So opposite of angle B will be AC, right? So opposite side. So let me rub this. Now we are looking for opposite side of angle B will be nothing but AC. Now similar way we will see opposite side of angle These are the important concept which all need to see, okay? Opposite side of angle C, let us see. So, opposite uh, side of angle C is nothing but AB, right? So, I hope now let us see the adjacent sides, okay? Adjacent side, let us, uh, let me teach all the adjacent side. Now, adjacent side of angle a will be what let us see adjacent side of angle a so adjacent side of angle a is nothing but a b right so this will be the adjacent side of angle a a b will be the adjacent side of angle a now uh, what is the adjacent side of angle b let us see now let us see the adjacent side of angle b so, adjacent side of angle B will be BC, okay? So, adjacent side of angle B is nothing but BC. So, adjacent side of angle B is nothing but BC. And what is the adjacent side of angle C? Let us see. Let us see the adjacent side of angle C. Adjacent side of angle C is what? Adjacent adjacent side of angle c is b c or even you can say c b okay so this was the first part concept which i have again explained you all okay now you all the, because here students get confused between the opposite side and the adjacent side so these are the important parts which i have to remember okay now this was the last part formula okay here you all do the corrections okay here it is opposite uh sorry here it is uh adjacent side it is okay adjacent side replace this op op opposite part by adjacent okay adjacent side of angle theta see edge opposite side of angle theta upon adjacent side of angle theta it is okay rest everything is correct so I hope you all have understood today's class and thanks for watching.